to you live from Southern California. Two of the best teams in the game square off. The Atlanta Braves taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. All right, just about set to go. And on the mound today, James Paxton. And Singy, it's unique these days, but he's more of a pitch-to-contact type of guy. Yeah, Boogie, he doesn't rely too heavily on the strikeout. He knows he needs to miss barrels, get some soft contact, let the defense do work behind him. And I think a guy like that can keep a good tempo, don't give hitters time to adjust or think. They can move through a ball game, and you look up, they're in line for a quality start. We'll see what he's got in this one. Ronald ball. Acuna Jr. at the plate now. That's ball one. Strike one. One ball, one strike. Good nope. eye right there. Paxton deals. Gets a piece and stays alive. A wine in the pitch. And that's outside. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Well, he got challenged with a good fastball right there. Just couldn't catch up. It's a leadoff walk, and that's the go-ahead run. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at-bat. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at-bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very gritty. Ozzie Albee's up to the plate, and that one fouled off. He might want to steal second in this spot, but he's dealing with a catcher that has one of the best pop times in the game. He needs to pick his spot very wisely. And a pitch. That's in there. 0-2. With two. two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Down and in, moved his feet. Acuna gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Next pitch is downstairs. Way to lay off that pitch down. That one is absolutely belted. That's down. One hops off the wall. Runner around third. He will score, and the Braves take the lead. one nothing. Well, there you go. The RBI machine. Another clutch run scoring at bat. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. Runner in scoring position. No outs. Austin Riley next up for the Braves first pitch doesn't yeah. find the zone Riley used to be a pitcher back in the day Boog in fact fans used to give him a hard time in his rookie ball days because he started the season with a long slump he'd get messages questioning if he should go back to pitching but it turns out he made the right choice and that one is lifted in the air Hernandez makes a nice grab at a full sprint Let's take a look at our lineup. This is a veteran-led lineup right here. A lot of players with plenty of experience singing. Yeah, no doubt about that, Boog. These players have been around the game for a long time, and they may not have the flash that they once did, but they've got the wisdom to be able to understand different situations, be able to think with the opponent, and sometimes in front of the Oh, now this is blasted way back there on its way. Go! His fourth home run of the season. And they throw a pair on the board. It's 3-0. He only needed one swing to square it up. Not wasting any time in that at bat, Boog. Aggressive, and it paid off. <laughs> oh. 
a good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. One out, base is empty. And now, Marcelo Zuna. And there's a hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. All over that one right there. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Here's Orlando Arcia. And there's a rocket into the outfield. They get it in quickly. So first and second, now one out. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. Got a fastball, middle of the plate, jumped all over it. Absolutely smoked that ball. First and second, one out. Michael Harris digs in now. There's a strike. Traffic on the bases with three already across, and we're just getting started here in the top of the first. Oh, and two now. Ball one, ball. one there. Well, they're really running up the pitch count in this first inning. Lots of confidence from this team that is perhaps the hottest in baseball right now. Switch through that one. It's a strikeout. And now it's Travis Darno at the plate. Put that 600 slugging into context. The league average usually in the low 400s. Inside corner, and that's called a strike. First inning going a bit long, 23 pitches to this point. And it's one and one. Wouldn't chase that time. Tough spot right here, a couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's gonna bring in some runs. And he deals on the ground. Rolls across the diamond. That ends the inning and stops things from getting out of hand. Braves pick up two on the long ball. It's now 3-0. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here at Chavez Ravine. And going for Atlanta, Max Free. Yeah, and as Whip tells you, he's been pretty effective this year on the mound. I mean, opposing hitters having a hard time getting on base and then being able to really distract him and do damage in terms of getting around the base path. So they're taking the mound. This is a guy you want out there if you're his teammate. And I expect him to be good in this one. Bottom of the first. Standing in is the power hitting second baseman, Mookie Betts. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. And a pop up right side, foul territory. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Take a look at the lineup. They do a lot of things well in this offense, Zingy. They control the strike zone. They make pitchers work hard for outs. And as a result, one of the better OBP teams in the league. Well, what I love about it is it's an organizational philosophy. Whether you go to instructional league, whether you go to spring training, you see these guys, even during batting practice, when it doesn't matter, they're practicing that type of approach, Boog. And when you have that filtering through the organization, even when you call up a player, he steps right in and continues with the pattern that they have established at this level, which ultimately leads to a lot of success.
you know, you translate on base percentage, it's basically this. Teams that have a high on base percentage, they don't make outs at a very high rate. As my buddy Joe Sheehan says, OBP is life. One out, base is empty. That one down the line and foul ball. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. You know, the danger with the slider is leaving it out over Ready. the heart of the plate and the getting base. contact on it. If you're going to miss, you want to miss towards the corners, Three, not in the middle. Right there, he does a great job with hard break at the end. He ran it inside. Very difficult to do anything when you're tied up like that as a hitter. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. And that one clips the corner. Two out spaces empty. And a foul ball. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And the Dodgers are set down in order. Dodgers go down quietly. They trail it here 3-0. Back here at Dodger Stadium. Top of the second. So now to the plate for Atlanta. Jared Kelman. Kelman. On the mound, he's got to remember his offense can score a lot. So if he can hit the reset button from here going forward, there's still Outside, a chance that his ball. club can win this ball game. Eight. Out in front with the swing, and that is strike one. Gary Simmons has the plate duty in this one. Well, with Simmons, it's not always your standard strike zone boog. It kind of gives a little extra in some parts of the zone and then can be tighter in others. But I think the important thing is he doesn't get labeled as inconsistent. So you got to stay ready up there. Got the bat going too soon and strike two. Yeah, one of those umpires, you just have to know what to expect, right? Exactly. On the ground to third. And that one finds its way through. So now back to the top of the order. This lefty matchup thing's not going so well. The white field, number 13, Ronald Acuna Jr. Here's Acuna now. The walk and a run scored his first time. Close, but called a ball. And that's ball one. Oh, here's a player who hits the ball a mile when he connects. In fact, Acuna is the first player in the StatCast era to hit 10 straight home runs, all traveling more than 420 feet. He's not exactly just clearing the fences out there. The lefty to 1 home. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Smith makes the play, one down. Got the pitch that he wanted, just a little bit quick. Front shoulder open. Backside collapsed a little bit, and the launch angle not where he needed it to be. Here is Ozzie Albies up to hit. A double and a run scored his first time up. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. They can live up in the zone all game if guys will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. Step off, throw to first, he's and he's back in safely. Kelman over at first with one away. And the pitch. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. Swing and a miss. Two gone. Here's Austin Riley. He's 0 for 1.
First pitch misses. Ball one, no strike. And that one just missed off the outside edge. And another ball. There's a strike. And now three and one. That one drilled left field. And that's a fair ball. And that rolls into the corner. Coming home. Now a relay to the plate. It's off the mark and he scores. And they lead by four. Man, he just absolutely turned on that one. Ripped it down the line. Nice job of staying in his mechanics. And now it's Matt Olson's turn to hit. He's already homered here in this one. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. The pitch. Swing and a miss. And that's strike two. Runner at second, two down. Here at the top of the second. And they'll do it again. Man at second. This one gets away as he can't handle it behind the plate. Probably ruled a pass ball as the runner moves up to third. And batter waits. Nope. That's down and in. Well, he's not afraid to fall into a two strike count. Knows the strike zone very well. So much so that I think umpires will look at him and determine whether it's a ball or strike if he swings or not. Two outs. Hot shot to first base and he snags it to end the inning. The Braves add one on the RBI double. It's now a 4 nothing ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here in L.A., we head to the bottom of the second, and here's the catcher, Will Smith. Well, a big lead like this is comfortable many times, but not when these two teams are matching up. you got to continue to keep your head down, play catch ball. with that catcher, and just try to move through this now lineup. The 1-0. And that's, that's a ball. little bit high. Hey. Outside corner, there's a strike. Kicks and deals. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. It's a good changeup to hit up in the zone. I don't think he recognized it. I'm sure he'd love to have that one back. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. And the pitch. That one ripped. And that's that just fine. foul. Field. He one hops off the wall. Should be extra bases. Kelnick with a quick throw back in. And they hold him at second. Maybe this is going to be the moment they start the comeback. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. Got a good pitch to drive, stayed short with his bad path to the ball, and caught it out front, and he stayed long in his follow through. That's how you split the gap, and that's pretty much a double every time. Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ballgame. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. That's ball. off the mark. Ball one. <laughs> 
High fly ball lifted in the air right field. And Acuna able to make the grab. Batting six. The third baseman, Max Muncy. Max Muncy at the dish. Swing and a miss, strike one. Good pitch right there. Anytime you can get one by a bat of this caliber, especially with runners on, it's got to give you some confidence out there on the mound that you can win this battle. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Wow, that's a tough call for the hitter, but the pitcher will take that all day long. Not quite in the strike zone, but he found a spot that the umpire is going to, at least for now, allow him to get that call. So hitters are going to have to make an adjustment, but pitchers are going to learn from those things and really try to exploit them if they can. Here's Kike Hernandez. First pitch, and it just misses. Smith stands at second with two gone. Hard on the ground to first. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. So the Dodgers leave one. They're on the short end of a 4 nothing score. And we're back. Here's Marcelo Zuna. As a batter, he's known for performing better in these night games. He might start two for two in this one. As the lefty gets to work. And that one missing low. These two offenses could put up runs in a hurry. High in the air, out to right. What a way. Orlando Arcia will hit next. One for one with a single so far. The shortstop takes the ball. Base is empty, one away. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Swing and a miss, and the count one and one. This one in the air. Muncie under it. And a couple of quick outs. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. Michael Harris getting ready to hit. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. Foul ball. Fastball gets the corner at the knees. Oh, this guy's so comfortable hitting with two strikes. Even a good pitch early in the at bat. If he's not ready to pull the trigger, He's not worried if he gets to an 0-2 count. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Just so sound in his mechanics. Now Hits back. against a firm front side, and the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Travis Dardo next up for the Braves. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. Ripped on a line to center. Right there to make the grab. And that is that. Braves strand one, but they lead it four to nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark as we go to the last of the third. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Andy Pajas. Free back to work. Close, but call the ball. And that is ball one.
And that one upstairs. Bounced out to short. Arcia. Fires across the diamond. One up, one down. Well, Bird, we talk about how the ball is coming out of a pitcher's hand. The way it comes out of his hand as an infielder. Wow, really impressive. Miguel Rojas at the play. And first offering is fouled off. The Braves leading by four here in the last half of the third. Ground ball, Olsen. Takes it himself. Two up, two down. Now back, the second baseman, Mookie. Back. So the batting order turns over. And up next for Los Angeles, Mookie Betts. Glide out his first time. This guy makes great contact. One of the best in the game at putting bat on ball. He's got such quick hands, and he's gaining pitch nope. recognition. That keeps him square ball to the ball, plate. No There's strike. a good chance that his bat stays in the zone a long time, and that produces solid contact consistently. To third. Whips it across. Oh. Three up, three down, inning over. Nothing doing for the Dodgers here. They're down 4 nothing. Back here at Chavez Ravine. Here's Jared Kelnick. Jared Kelnick. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. Headed down the line. And that is a foul ball. You know, these Braves showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. Pitch count is pretty high, and they've played with four runs already, so I think it's safe to say their game plan is working out pretty well right now. So they forced the starter to put in a lot of work, and they've been able to get to him for some runs, and hopefully that bullpen phone is working today. Next pitch is outside. That's a base hit. Just kind of slice that one into center. That's back-to-back -back singles for him. Pitch was on the outside. Didn't go the other way with it, but still a nice job of using the big part of the field to find a hole. No way he hits it that well if he hooks around the baseball there. And now it's Ronald Acuna Jr. First pitch just misses. Kelnick on at first. Nobody out. And a 1 1. And that's too high. The Dodgers bullpen with some action. Shohei Otani looks to be getting ready for manager Dave Roberts. Yarbrough also getting ready. Comes up empty. That's strike two. <laughs> Outside. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Second walk of the game for him, and he's been really patient at the play, the game plan that he's sticking to. He's just not going outside of what he's looking for up there. And next for Atlanta, Ozzy Albies. One for two with an RBI double back in the first. Just missed. This isn't a pitcher that softens up when he starts to show signs of fatigue. I mean, his stuff stays sharp. Makes these at-bats more difficult than they normally would be against other pitchers at this stage of the game. The 1-1. One, one. And another ball. First and second, no outs. Top half of inning number four. 
Lace to right center, base hit. They won't test it here. Bases loaded, no outs. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. Pretty much a model swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field gap. And I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to bottle. So many positives that led to that knock. It appears Dave Roberts is going to dig into his bullpen as he comes out of the dugout to make the change. James Paxton won't go any further tonight. And the line not closed on him yet responsible for the runners on base back with a new pitcher after this new pitcher for the Dodgers Shohei Otani on for his major league debut and a moment he will never forget better believe that it's always so special the first time you get into a big league ball game I did it as a position player but for him as a pitcher I'm sure there's some nerves there probably don't want to squeeze the baseball too tight just relax and do what you're capable of doing Riley up for the third time here watches that one miss all loaded up dangerous hitter at the plate wouldn't chase that time pressures on right here 2 0 count base is loaded you don't want to fall to a three ball count and then walk in or on he's got to challenge the hitter right here good hitters count the 2 0 to the left side but it is well foul they need a strikeout and you need a ball perhaps on the ground for a double play or get yourself a pop up something but you've got to make some pitches but if he can battle and get through this he can earn some points Bases juice, no outs. Got him swinging. Here's Matt Olson. He's already homered in this game. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. Looks like the weather could actually play a factor in this one. It's coming down pretty good. Yeah, it is. And it's not too bad yet, but the field's not going to be able to hold up if the rain gets any worse than this. So keep an eye on the pitcher's mound as well, and the rest of the infield start to puddle up a little bit. In there for a strike at the top of the zone. Right-handed reliever. That one to first. Off-balance speed. There's one. Not in time at first. It's a fielder's choice. I promise you, there are guys that get a little bit faster when they can smell an RBI. That was a possible inning-ending double play. Great hustle, and he gets rewarded with the RBI because of it. Marcelo Zuna next up for the Braves one for two there's a strike runners on first and third two away and this is inside Boog he never moved because he never had time to but that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Pajes makes the catch, and that'll do it. One run in the inning, but they leave two. And midway in the fourth, it's the Braves five, and the Dodgers nothing. Here at Dodger Stadium. Bottom four, stepping in, Austin Barnes. We haven't seen a break in the weather, and the umpires might be forced to make a decision soon. Yeah, I think so, Boog. I mean, everyone looking and wondering when they're going to stop play, it definitely feels close. And the first pitch misses for ball one.
And a good oh, eye there. Well, he looks more focused at the plate and working the count after that first at bat strikeout. Inside corner, that's a strike. And it's two and one now. That now one missed. Oh, they have had a hard time scoring in this one. The pitcher out there on the mound wants to keep attacking, make sure that they don't get any confidence. The 3-1. There's the strike. The count's full. And so the lefty allows the leadoff free pass. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. Freeman in the box here lets that one go for a ball. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. Kelman raging back towards the wall. And that one's off the wall. Around third. He scores. It's 5-1. Picks himself up an RBI. Put a really nice balanced swing on it. And when you can rope one into the gap like that, you're thinking extra bases from the first couple of steps out of the box. And he'll feel real good about that one. And up to the plate is Will Smith. Doubled his first time up. And that's inside, off the inside edge. And that's ball one. The pitch. On its way to the corner. Tries to make the play, but it's foul. That one at 95 missed up top, and it's two and one. And now the lefty. Swing and a ball ripped out towards right center field. That'll touch down for a hit. Run comes in from second. It's 5-2. Comes through with the RBI. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle. Allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer. And he hit the ball on the screws. Man at first. And now Teoscar Hernandez. He's been a great free agent side. Swing and blast one down the line. It's gone if it's fair, but it hooks foul. Well, that's where you want to be right there. All over that first pitch fastball. Just a little too much hook on it. Straighten that thing out. You get to jog around the bases. The Dodgers trailing by three. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. In the air out towards right center. Acuna has it sized up. And puts the squeeze on that one. And there's one away. Up next to the top. The third baseman. Matt. And now it's Max Muncy caught looking his first time up. Clips the outside corner. Strike one. Swing and a miss as he chases that one darting out of the zone. Just misses the mark outside the zone. It's a good take. The pitch. Three. Swing and a miss. Throw is low and he can't pick it. And he's in the scoring position with two gone on the wild pitch. Kike Hernandez steps to the plate for the Dodgers. He's over one.
Right through there for a strike. All ones the count. Smith at second with two down. And that's down and away. And another ball. Man on second, two down. Back to the mound. On the run, throw to first. In time, got him. And that'll do it. So it's two runs on two hits, no errors, and a runner left. On to the top of the fifth we go. It's the Braves five and the Dodgers two. Back here in L.A., ready now for the fifth inning. Now in for the Braves, Orlando Arcia. Here comes a pitch. Bottom of the zone and a called strike. You know, these Braves, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. Just look at how the ball's coming off their bats, and tell me it's fun playing defense at this level. They've got seven hits at 90-plus miles per hour exit velocity, so you've got to look alive out there. Here's the center fielder, Michael Harris. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. And now maybe extra bases. And it gets by him. Round second, digging for third. Man, I love the hustle out of the box right there to make that triple happen. And just an absolute laser into the opposite field gap. He was digging hard the entire way. So one gone with a runner at third. Travis Darno, the next to hit. Close one doesn't get the call, and it's one to no. The one oh. Hey. Cold night like tonight. Last thing you want to do as a hitter is get jammed or even off the end, trying to find that sweet spot on the bat. I'll tell you what. You're really trying to catch things out front, so all speed pitches may be a good complement to that fastball. Righty to the plate. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two down. Big strikeout right there, and that kind of takes the pressure off the defense a bit. Infield was in, so now they can move back, give themselves more time on a grounder to make a play. A lot more ways to work out of this and strand that runner at third now. Helmet stands in with two away as he takes a ball. This to third. In plenty of time to first, and that'll do it. One left for Atlanta. They're still out in front, 5-2. We're back, and on the mound is the closer, Rysel Iglesias. And I can't imagine any save is an easy one. You're holding a small lead on the scoreboard, and you know those hitters are going to give you the best at bats they can. So it's always high stress. Let's see what he's got here to try and close it out. And now the center fielder, the center Andy Pajas. Grounded out to short in his first trip. The pitch. This ball's chopped on the ground. Arcia gets it to first. And a quick out, number one. Really nice job to get your first out of the ball the game. Batter number 11. Shortstop, Miguel. Miguel Rojas, Rojas steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Goal for one. He grounded out to first his last time. And that one fouled off. Iglesias is what you're looking for in a good reliever. The ball stays in the ballpark. It's so hard to square him up. Oh. 
Yeah, he stays out of the middle and, and pitches either at the bottom or at the top on the edges. And because of that, if you do get it in the air, it's usually just a high fly ball. And when it's down in the zone, it's on the ground. He had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. Betts, ball the next one. to hit, takes ball one. Ball one Two down, three. nobody on. Last half of inning number five. Next offering is in for a strike. He's so consistent that the manager basically can look at it like he's got three outs sitting in his pocket. That That's shortens the game. And it is two and one. When he takes the mound, you feel like, hey, this inning is wrapped or this ball game is over. He's just that good. And you can see it in opposing hitters as well. Iglesias is just one strike away. Swung out, bounce it. That one back. That was blasted to the moon, and they closed the gap. It's 5-3. He was able to hit one out in this weather. Are you kidding me? How did he do that? A slider right down the middle of the plate. It's like slow motion for a hitter. You're just licking your chops, waiting for it to arrive, and you want to hit it a long way, and he did. Austin Barnes now at the plate. He's a catcher by trade, but the DH here in this one. Strike one. They know when he comes in, pretty much forget about it. Kind of reminds me of Mariano Rivera. They're down to their final strike. Line drive, base hit. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. In the air to left, down the line. And it gets into the corner, but it's foul. Now, Boog, this is a real tough place for visiting teams to come in and close out ball games for a win. Tying run at the plate. Lifted to left, and that should do it. This one is over. Well, this was a tightly played game. Got a little of everything. Some timely hitting, runs on the board. Key pitching and defense in certain spots. Definitely a fun one to watch. A 5-3 final score in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chambi saying so long.